Hey guys. So a while back when I started to learn to use generate blocks, uh, I had to really get accustomed to the to using the Gutenberg builder and the blocks in general. And one of my biggest pain points was trying to add new blocks under a particular section. I kept adding it in areas that wasn't where I wanted it to go. So I'm going to show you two quick and easy ways that I've learned to use uh, that to help you add a new block below a section and not where uh, you don't want it. Let me show you how. Okay, so let's say we're on this page, for example, we're in, logged in on the back end here, and we want to add a section below our hero, but above this section. And oftentimes it can be confusing because this now this plus comes up and you think, oh, I can just add a container. Well, now we're at a block that's going to be within that container. Uh, but we want to create a new container so that it doesn't live in either this one or this one. So what I've learned to do is the best way, the easiest method is always ensure you're selecting the outermost container first. And you might have to do a couple clicks, but eventually you'll get there. And once you've clicked that outermost container, go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. And now you'll see it says type backslash to choose a block. Um, and we're in a place that we're below this container now, not within it. So if I was to type backslash container, click that, um, say enter container, and then added some padding and we can uh, put a little background color on here so you can see what we're working with and <clears throat> there you have it so now I've created a new section below the hero but above this section uh, container just by selecting the outermost container first then hitting enter now what you can also do as a secondary uh, maybe somewhat easier I don't always love to bring up the uh, block list view um, but if you're wanting to select, say, this hero section, instead of doing a couple clicks to reach the outside, uh, you can come to the list view to select that container and hit enter again. Uh, just like we did the first time, you can put in whatever it is you're looking for, new container, new heading, um, any content you want. So. Those are the quickest, easiest two ways I've used and helped streamline my building process. So I hope that helps you learn uh, to accelerate your speed and, and the way you build with Generate Blocks. Thanks for watching.